Inspect the chest front and back, noting thoracic landmarks, size, shape, color, and symmetry. Observe for prominence of ribs and deformities, and evaluate respirations for rate, rhythm, and pattern. Inspect the chest for pattern, symmetry, and use of accessory muscles upon respiration, noting audible, any audible sounds. We'll um, record the respirations um, by noting respirations for 30 seconds and then multiplying that number by 2. Next, we'll observe the patient's lips and mucosa for color and um, nails for cyanosis and clubbing and to observe any nasal flaring. Palpate the chest for symmetry and thoracic expansion by placing the thumbs at the patient's back at the level of the 10th rib, watching for the thumbs to diverge during quiet and deep breathing. Next, you can palpate vibration of the chest wall for tactile frematis. Frematis is felt by first placing the palmar surface of both hands on the patient's back at the second intercostal space at the level of bifurcation of the bronchi during speech. This can also be checked by using the ulnar aspect of both hands positioned in the same location, having the patient speak by reciting, reciting numbers or saying words. If the trachea has not been previously examined, we can exam that, examine that also. Next, we'll ask the patient to bend forward and start percussing with hands folded in front of the patient. Begin, begin percussing over the intercostal spaces, moving systematically either superior to inferior or medially to laterally, assessing for resonance, which is the norm or any signs of hyperresonance, dullness, or timpani. Percussing directly and indirectly, the posterior, thorax, left lateral, thorax, anterior thorax, then moving to the right lateral thorax, having patient raise their hands above their head to assess the right and left. We'll do this both directly and now this is a technique that you use to do to assess this indirectly. Again, just make sure you use the same systematic approach and listening for resonance. Next, we'll measure the diaphragmatic excursion by asking the patient to take a deep breath and hold. Percuss along the scapular line, locating the lower border from resonance to dullness, and we can mark that with a piece of tape. Half the patient takes several breaths, exhale, and hold, and then percuss up from that marked point. That, and mark the change from dullness to resonance with another piece of tape. We can repeat this on the opposite side. Remind the patient to take several deep breaths in between the two sides. And after we get those, these measured, um, we can use a ruler and me measure this distance. It should be anywhere from three to six centimeters. Next, we'll begin auscultating the patient by having them breathe slowly and deeply throughout the mouth, through the mouth. Um, auscultate the back with the patient sitting, bending forward with arms folded. Auscultating the anterior chest, have patients sit upright and raise arms for lateral chest. Sounds on each side, listen, sy listen systematically at each position throughout inspiration and expiration in a side-to-side -side comparison, moving downward from apex to base, assessing bronchial area over trachea, vascular area over lesser bronchioles and lobes, including bronchovesicular area over main bronchi. Next, we'll assess vocal resonance through auscultating the spoken voice through the lung fields with a stethoscope. This is best heard medially and have the patient repeat spoken words as the assessment progresses. <laughs> 